Hello my crafty friends, this is Monica from Also Petite. In this tutorial I will walk you through how to make the 3D zipper pocket with build-in card slots. Take your card slots and fold the fabric wrong sides together along that first bottom line here. Press that flat. You can take this to the machine and top stitch along that folded edge. Next, we're going to fold the fabric right sides together along that second line here. So you can just flip that to the other side, find that second line and just fold it like this and press that flat. There we go. So this way we have created the first pocket here. Now you're going to find the third line and again, we're going to repeat the process. So with wrong sides together, we're folding the fabric along that line, bring that down, press it flat. Then again, take this to the machine and top stitch along that finished edge. Now you can flip that down, find the next line and fold the fabric right side facing each other. Next, you're going to take the following line and fold it wrong sides together. Press that flat. And again, you can stitch along the top edge. Fold the fabric right sides together along the last line. Here we go, just like that. So you have one, two and three pockets. Line up the edges along the sides, pin them together. Then we're going to take this to the machine and baste along the sides. Take your side panels and with right sides together, you're going to place them on top of the card slots. Line them up along the bottom edge and the side and clip them together. Now we're going to take this to the machine and we're going to sew off seams using one centimeter seam allowance. Okay, now you can take this to the pressing station, open the panels and you can press the seam allowance towards the side panels and we're going to top stitch along that finished seam. Once you've got that down, what I like to do is to mark my midpoints along the top and the bottom. Then you're going to take your front pocket piece, line it up the bottom edge, center it and then we're going to trace the pocket. Now you can take a scissors and cut it out. Next, you're going to take your front pocket stabilizer and fuse it to the back of the panel. Take your gussets and your zipper and to make the process easier, you want to make sure that your gusset width is the same width as your zipper. So I already pre-trimmed that beforehand. So now you're going to place your zipper facing down on top of the external piece and we're going to line it up along the short edges. If you want, you can baste that in place. Then you're going to take your lining piece and with right side facing down, you're going to place it on top of the zipper, line it up, then move your clips to hold everything together. When you are ready, you're going to take this to the machine and we're going to stitch both short seams using one centimeter seam allowance. Once you've got that stitched, you're going to flip the panels so they are wrong sides together, just like that. So the zipper is on one side and we're going to line them up, clip them together and then you're going to take this to the machine and we're going to stitch along those finished seams and then we're going to baste along those two longer edges. Once you've got that ready, you're going to fold it in half and we're going to mark a notches on each side. Take the external front pocket piece and we're going to place the gusset right sides together and we're going to line it up around the entire front pocket. So first match all the four meet points and then you can just line it up along the edge. It might be easier again if you just snip the gusset and the zipper around those curved corners. 
Once you're ready, you're going to sew the seam using 7mm seam allowance. So it might be easier if you can just open your zipper. Once you've got that stitched, you're going to take your front pocket lining piece, place it right side facing down, so the right sides are facing each other. You're going to match four midpoints and clip around all sides. Once you've got that clipped, you're going to take this to the machine and we're going to sew the seam using 7mm seam allowance. However, we're going to leave an opening around the bottom edge so we can turn the pocket right side out. Once you've got that stitched, you're going to trim the seam allowance by half, but I would leave the full seam allowance around that opening here. Now you can turn the pocket right side out. Once you've got that ready, we need to close that opening along that bottom edge. So normally what I like to do is to fold this edge by 7 millimeters because that's the seam allowance, press it flat, and then you can line up that folded edge just beyond that stitching. And just pin that in place for now. Then you can close that opening by hand using a ladder stitch. If you want, you can now top stitch around that seam. Take your card slot piece and we're going to line up the front pocket on top. So the right sides of both pieces are facing up and you're going to line up the other side of the gusset and the zipper. So the wrong side of the gusset where the lining is will be facing the right side of your card slot pocket. So when you are ready, this should look like this. You have your pocket inside. Make sure your card slots are facing the right direction. Then you're going to take this to the machine and we're going to base those two pieces together using 5mm seam allowance. Take your front piece and we're going to place the pocket on top just like that and you're going to line up the edge of the window around that gusset where you just stitched that previous seam. This step may be a little bit tricky and fiddly and I like to always snip my fabric slightly just around those curved corners here. Then you're going to line up all four notches. So right side of the gusset and right side of your front are facing each other.
So now you're going to take this to the machine and we're going to sew the seam around using seven millimeter seam allowance. So I like to sew it from this side so I can just fold my front piece on top and just stitch like this. Press the seam allowance away from the pocket. Now you're going to take this to the machine again and we're going to top stitch along that finished seam just to keep the fabric nice and flat. <laughs> 